Hey everybody, I hope you're doing well. My name is Grant Rivers. Welcome to another episode of The River's Edge. Today we are going to actually be accompanying Ascot Bermuda, which is one of the insurance carriers here on the island, and we're going to be doing a little bit of whale watching. So today we're gonna to be going out on the boat. It's gonna be from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. It's gonna be really, really nice. Looks like a calm day. The wind isn't blowing too much, and hopefully we can find something. How we're looking for these whales, the uh, most common way to spot them, it looks like smoke on the water, right? It comes up and they breathe and they throw a mist. Come on, female, show us your tail. There you go, tail. See, she listened to me. Right up on top. And that is the most common way, my favorite way, and the most obvious way is the breach. They said we got the, we get the most breaches out of anywhere else in the world. Forty foot mammal come right up out of the water, and it's a massive splash after that. Okay, so give you an idea, these whales. Okay, the females get the biggest. Right, a fully grown female will be about forty-five feet, forty to forty-five feet, and they can weigh up to forty tons. Okay. Now, just to put that into perspective, this boat that we're on is 50 feet, and it only weighs 16 tons. I mean, they're really big, but at the same time, so is the ocean, right? These whales, they can disappear quite regularly. These whales, the ones that are with the calves, they're actually really cool because the calf has to breathe quite often. All right, it doesn't have the lung capacity of the mother. So uh, they generally tend to stay on the surface a lot more. They're called humpbacks because when they breathe, they come up and they take a dive, right? They'll dive for about five to seven minutes, but when they do take that dive, they'll actually hump their back. Right? So it looks like a hump in the water itself. So on a calm day like today, it is actually pretty easy to spot. But they are coming from the Caribbean and they're heading up to like Nova Scotia, Canada, Maine, Boston. Um, they've actually found our whales as far north as Iceland. They do a lot of traveling, a lot of traveling. I say our whales, but they're not our whales. They're just stopping by. But again, I'll tell you all about that once we get a little closer. Cool? Any other questions on the boat or anything? No? All good? Sweet.
So, Captain, how do you feel the trip went? How do you feel the whales were? Yeah, I think it went pretty good, man. We got some good footage. You know, it's a beautiful day, yeah, and we ended up. Uh, we worked for it. Oh yeah. Put some time in looking for them, but eventually we got them. Yeah. And uh, they put on a good show for us. I remember you were saying that you um, have what is it? Like 15 years experience, something uh, like 23. That? 23 years. 23. Experience. Yeah. So I've been doing it for quite a long time, man. And you know, the thing is, I still get excited about seeing the whales and showing people the whales. You know. Oh yeah. After all that time, I've seen so many of them. But when you get shows like that, it makes it all worth it because people really appreciate it. Yeah, man. How was the boat ride? <laughs> it was amazing. I will admit we had to wait about three hours to see our first whale, but once we saw it, it was well worth it. And we saw quite a few. They were very majestic. At first, we were only just seeing the, the spouts come up, like the, and it was just, when we got up close, dreams were made today. It was amazing. I've been dolphin watching in San Diego, but never whale watching. I, I think that whale watching, the name should change to whale finding. That's my, <laughs> that's my suggestion. I love that. We did have whale to find out. Yes. Whale finding and then watching. Yes. One of our friends had a really cool drone. His name is Grant Rivers, who's actually recording this interview right now. And that was very helpful because we then knew where the whales were. It was another had, perspective. It was very, very helpful. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So we it was almost like look. the whales liked it, too. Yes. yes. They were flipping over. At one point, it was on its back. Cool. What's good, Grant? <laughs> How was the boat trip today? Uh, today was wonderful. Yeah, we had a great time. Got to see a few whales. Uh, I think it was a, a couple, a male and female. So a lot of little education on that. Figure out the difference between what a female looks like and a male. Yeah. No surprises there. The male was the one that's all jacked up and scarred up. But a wonderful, wonderful day today. Thank you, Ascot. Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching. I just wanted to say really quickly before we get out of here, if you like the video, don't forget to like it. And if you have any questions, don't forget to comment down below. Whale watching is just absolutely like the coolest thing ever. What a fantastic two days this has been. I mean, we've seen a ton of whales. It's been a ton of action. I think that everyone who was involved and got to experience these last two days just walked away just better for it. All right, well, I think that that's all the time that I have today. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It does not only a lot for me, but just for the channel overall in terms of pushing content out there and making sure that more people get to see what is the river's edge. All right, everybody, it's been a blast. Thank you so much and take care.